you know, because with that being said, you know, there are certain sins that will get you kicked out of church. We talked about, you know, fornication, covetousness, idolatry, railer, drunkard, extortioner, uh, also laziness. But what I want to say about that is this is, you know, but there's still due process. You know, just because somebody is doing these things, it doesn't mean we just fly off the handle and just kick them out at the first sign of it. Uh, because there is a due process that Jesus Christ has put in place for the church that is, that is used to deal with sin in the church. Matthew 18 verse 15 says, Moreover, if thy brother shall trespass against thee, go and tell him his fault between thee and him alone. If he, shall, if he shall hear thee, thou hast gained thy brother. So what's the first thing we should do if somebody is committing a sin or if somebody is doing wrong? We ought to go to them alone, right? And address it with them and hope that they get it right and then it doesn't have to go further than that. But, verse 16, But if he will not hear thee, then take with thee one or two more that in the mouth of two or three witnesses every word may be established. So if this brother or this sister continues and is persistent in this sin, then you take two or three people with them and you address it with them that every word is established. Now there's a bit more accountability there um, between that small group. Verse 17, And if he shall neglect to hear them, tell it unto the church. But if he neglect to hear the church, let him be unto thee as an heathen man and a publican. So there are certain sins that will get you kicked out of a church, but there's a due process here. You know, it's not that you just commit this sin and then you're kicked out of church. Somebody should go to you, either me or another person in church, and address it with you. And if you repent of that sin, then you, stay, you can stay in the church. That's fine. But if you continue and you persist, and it's still commonly reported among us, then you go with two or three witnesses and address it again. You give them another chance. If they neglect to hear them, then it's brought before the church and it's made public in the body of Christ and in the church of God. And if you still will not repent of that sin and it's still commonly reported, then you ought to be kicked out of the church and you are no longer welcome here until you turn from that sin and get right with God and, and then you're, you're welcome back. So... If, if you have a sin that is reported commonly and I address you specifically from the pulpit and that's the first time you hear about it, that is wrong. You know, that should not be happening because, you know, that happens in, unfortunately in a lot of Baptist churches where, you know, people are in sin or people are doing things wrong or people are doing things that, you know, the bishop may not necessarily agree with. The pulpit is not the first place you should hear about it. I mean, if he hasn't come to you first and foremost to address it with you and to try and make it right and then with two or three witnesses he shouldn't be bringing it before the church you know that is that is really wrong and that's how uh, you'll hurt a lot of people and you're not following what um, what Jesus says to do here